infectious causes cause about 20% of maternal mortality in, in our hospital. So that is an area where we need to understand which are the organs that are causing these infections, which antibiotics can we use to prevent these infections, which other practices in the hospital like hand washing, decongesting the hospitals, can we implement to improve or reduce the burden of infectious morbidity among mothers. One small action of putting pen to paper and deciding to choose an antibiotic which is not really necessary for your patient has, can have very devastating effects later on in the short term, medium and even in the long term. And so I really believe this uh, partnership um, take, needs to be taken to another level and we really need to include as many health workers on this as we can. Really, it's about sort of learning from each other and um, really getting ideas together. To be honest, actually, it's really exceeded my expectations. I was very concerned coming out here that particularly our quite interactive teaching style might not uh, work so well. I just thought I might be met by a lot of blank faces when I ask people to join in in interactive activities, but actually it's been the complete opposite. They've been so engaged and actually a lot better than some of the <laughs> groups I've taught in the UK. I think the interactive learning was very funny and entertaining for everyone involved, both the teachers and the people being trained. The level of motivation of the participants was really high and uh, even the presenters, the, the level of motivation was high. No one, I mean, of course there are some people didn't take enough coffee but still, <laughs> there were very few sleeping so it was really fun to see them that attentive and involved. Initially it was a call where Jamie and Musa didn't know each other. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so we got to know each other more. Yes. And now we have got the training. I think we're on course to achieve even more brand objectives. Absolutely. The outcomes of this collaboration. I certainly came back from my last visit and I just felt a bit more calm, collected, and just able to think, right, okay, yeah, there's a crisis going on, but we can deal with this, it's not as bad as you think. <laughs> Culturally, if you know, going to another hospital, we're all getting that in, seeing people in a different environment, and you know, seeing even if you do um, a little bit, things that will help. Oh my god, turn out of <laughs> what kind of drives me is the fact that I, I, I see s small steps of success as I go along and uh, it's been, I've been encouraged a lot by colleagues here and also partners like actually in Cambridge because sometimes when you're in the midst of all this you feel like giving up but when other people say that actually we are Things are happening, you keep going. It's been helpful to know that Cambridge is that kind of partner who views us as an equal partner. And of course, we always emphasize that it's a win-win for whoever is involved and it has been helpful. And I really want that to be the spirit in which we continue. Just learning so much about the way in which people are able to manage such a vast number of patients under such difficult circumstances and I know that there are you know places which are much worse off than some of the places that we've seen and we're, we're, we're helping um, but that people are very resourceful um, that they're incredibly proud and upbeat of their work and people are very open to learning and I'm not convinced we're always very open to learning. I feel I have to fulfill something which is not yet being fulfilled to make sure that the Ugandan woman, they, they, they get the quality care they deserve at the time of childbirth. So I think when that is achieved, maybe I'll think of other things, but for now that keeps me really working towards that.